Nessa girl. I'm getting ready to go down to the bar with the rich cars. I'm going with the rich cars at the night because I got some family in town. Shouts out to my cousin Passion Latham Robinson in town from Mississippi. Nevertheless, my last video talking about relationships while I was sitting on the sofa uploading it, it made me think about sex. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's y'all know the rest. And I just got to thinking, but like, I'm not as freaky as I used to be. Um, Nessa girl, I used to get it down, bitch. Um, and these days, I just don't have to have it. And even, you know, when I do do it, and how often am I having sex now? I think I'm having sex like maybe once every two and a half months. Maybe, and they're repeat customers. You know, I got, I've got a few people in my phone that live in the general area that, you know, when I need a tune up, I give them a call. But even with that, most time, more times than not, it happens on a drunken night and it's like alcohol induced. But just on some day to day shit, I just don't have to have it. And even when I am having it, it ain't like some of the things I used to do. Um, oral sex used to be my favorite thing to do. Bitch, I used to love to suck dick, okay? I'm just going to put the shit out there. I, bitch, I used to I mean, love it, okay? But I suck the classy base. I ain't with all that choking and gagging and spit all over the place. But just real class, nevertheless, and, and none of y'all business how you do it. But something has happened now with the thought of you putting your penis in my mouth now repulses me and i don't know why i am having this uh inverted or backwards progression in my sex life like y'all maybe it's because i was a hoe all right i'm gonna just put the shit out there like I, everything there is to do sexually for the most part with the exception of like that s and m and bondage shit i've done the threesomes the group sex, you know, 20, 30 people in a room. I've done that. Swingers, I've done that. Every position imaginable, I've done that. Um, with people watching, voyeurism. I mean, I've gotten into a lot of things. I've got to, to you know, have sex in public. I've, I've explored all these different things, and I enjoyed these experiences, and they were so hot and so freaky and so tantalizing and all these other provocative things but at 34 years old now i don't desire any of that and it's weird because i had so much fun it was so hot and so freaky and this is gonna sound cheesy and i know y'all gonna laugh but I think what's going on with me now is that I have had so much casual sex, so much random sex, and so much sex with people who I've had no attachment to that the only sexual interactions that I am truly interested in are one where there is a real connection. Um, AKA love making, I guess. That right now has my interest. You know what I'm saying? The sweet whisper of I love you, the sucking on the neck, the holding and the caressing. And it's weird because in my younger years, that shit didn't interest me. It was just like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's what I want. But now it's like, I ain't got to do all that. I ain't got to have all that. And if it's just going to be a matter of us just like hooking up for some pointless, casual sex i'd rather just have a body party with myself uh it's easier uh it's quicker it's safer it's more efficient um 
And when you're having me time, I get to close my eyes and imagine I'm having whatever experience I want. You know, casual sex, especially being gay or random sex, it is such a process, right? Let's just say, for instance, I got the itch right now. First, I've got to go through my phone and I've got to reach out to my, you know, list of available people, right? So, you know, you call one, two, three, text, flirt. Okay, the first two aren't in the mood. The third one is. However, I'm out to eat with my boys right now. And then after that, I got to go home and prepare. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, even if the person wasn't out, there's still an hour lead time that goes into preparation because somebody got to dish out their ass, you know what I'm saying, and clean it, and that's a whole process. Then you got to get over here, you know, then you got to call me because you don't know where to park. The thing, at the, the buzzer at the front door ain't working, so now I got to walk all the way around the building and come get you. Then you got to come upstairs. Then we have to play the whole what you been up to game. What's going on? What you watching on Netflix? What's your favorite show on Hulu? You want something to drink? We got to do like 20 or 30 minutes of that. Then, you know, we got to heat each other up. Then we get into like 12 to 15 minutes of sex. Then it's like you got to clean up. And now I'm sitting here like, okay, stop talking. Stop talking. Like, oh, my cousin just called me. We finna go eat. Um, I'm going to call you later on tonight and see if you want to come back over here. No, damn well, I'm lying. It's, it's just, it's this long, drawn-out process when, honestly and truthfully, I could just turn on, you know, Pornhub and grab my Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lotion because that's the only thing I use when I touch myself. I ain't afraid to touch myself. I don't need nobody else. Y'all remember that T-Boss when she had a solo career. I pull out my Palmer's Cocoa Butter and I can go to work in like five to seven minutes. I mean, not even that. I can really knock it out in two minutes if needs be and be done with it all. Um, so I don't know, y'all. Maybe maybe everything with me just wrong. I don't want no man. I don't want no sex. I don't want a relationship. I don't want no damn kids. I mean, it, I, I don't know. Or maybe it's called getting older. But y'all help me figure it out. Am I the only person who has gotten less freaky with age and to be honest I really don't think that's going nowhere like right now I just can't even imagine me being in the bed right now swinging from shower curtains and chandeliers tooting and booting rolling all over the place wearing costumes and all that shit like all that shit just really seems silly to me in this moment um but let's see who agree and who doesn't drop down in the comments and, and be sure to let me know what you're thinking on this intimate friday evening as the sun's coming down over the water anyway that's a girl i'll call you later bye